Well, hey church, uh, so glad to be back with you again this week. Uh, last week of my holidays, and I hope you guys have been doing really well during these last few weeks. Uh, we've been talking about rest, both the need for rest, we talked about a couple of weeks ago, just because of the fatigue that generally people are feeling these days. Last week, we also talked about entering into that rest by enjoying a Sabbath, a time to play and just delight in the presence of God, to receive more of who he is by just being still with him, not striving, not trying to get it, just being with him. And what I want to speak to you about today is how do we sustain that sense of rest when we get back to some semblance of normal? When we start to come out of this fog that we might be in uh, because of COVID, how do we sustain a sense of rest? And what I want to say today is that I think we sustain it through having great rhythms in life that are established really by God and the things that he calls us to do. To spend time with him in his word. Uh, you know, one of the best things that I've been doing over the last several months that sustained me is starting off my morning with a prayer walk. Uh, I go for a walk up the hill and spend some time just praying through the Lord's Prayer. I get home, I open up the Word, have my journal there, and I spend more time just listening in the Word, what God's saying to me, and spending time dialoguing with Him through my journal. And we just have a conversation to start off the day. And that's been huge for me, having that regular rhythm of time with the Lord. But it's not just the morning. It's finding spaces throughout the day where we can come back to Him. Maybe setting an alarm on your watch to just be reminded or take a moment to share some thoughts of gratitude with God for what he's providing for you in that day. Maybe take some time to pray for those that God has brought into your world. Just to look around you and see the good things that he is doing. There's also the, the, the spiritual rhythm of examine that you could do at the end of the day. To look back at your day and say, where did I feel close to God? Where did I see God at work? And where did I feel furthest away from him? Where did I feel like I was just really struggling today? To acknowledge those things with God, spend time in prayer with him, see how he would want to continue to speak to you about those things. And then to have rhythms that maybe aren't daily ones, but weekly ones. Rhythms of continued community, spending time with others, getting together for driveway visits, getting together for a small group of people to come together and maybe pray together or just have fun together. Just continue to have a rhythm of being refreshed in that. Like we talked about last week, Sabbath is supposed to be a day that happens once a week, every week. I think in sustaining this, coming out of this season or even continuing on in it, uh, having these rhythms where we continue to come back to God to seek his strength is gonna be really important. So church, stay in it, hang in there, continue to look to God and be refreshed by him. I'm so looking forward to being back together with you guys. I will see you soon. God bless you. Uh, enjoy Sunday too as we continue on in our journey in Acts. We'll see you guys.